Hey, what is going on guys? Vixen here bring another Photoshop tutorial. So today I'll be showing you how to add a watermark to your images. This is really useful if you're creating your own self i store or website, you know, making your own graphic design. And you want to put your watermark on it just to make sure people don't screenshot it or download it and just reuse stuff without paying. So a really simple tutorial, uh, not much to it, but very useful. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and you can actually see here I've already made an example. So I'm just going to show you how to repeat this. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is create a new layer. Now this is a 1080p document, doesn't really matter, just something uh, decently large, but it can be whatever. Now this document is 1080p, but it doesn't really matter because we'll be scaling this down later. So just some sort of reasonably sized document. And then what you want to do is obviously create a new layer. Then you want to go to the pen tool. You want to make sure this is on shape rather than path. You want to make sure your fill is set to nothing. Your stroke, I uh, actually want this on white. So we'll just click this and make sure it's white. And then we can turn this down to maybe, let's say 40, and make sure this is on the dotted option. Now what we're going to do is just create a line uh, from corner to corner, just like that. And obviously it's a little bit large, we'll actually lower this some more. And that looks about good, so what's that, uh, 6. And then what we're going to do, because this is white, just so temporarily so we can see it, we're going to go like that, and then just bucket tool black layout this just makes it so we can actually see what we're working with now make sure that line goes right from the corner to the corner just like that perfect and then now we need to get our logo so for me this is just a wolf logo so I'll just open up file explorer here and go pictures and just get basically just you know get your logo and uh, drop that in. You want to make this pretty small. So for a document this size, I had, I think, two of these earlier. So we'll just position them over about two dashes here. And then just Control J on that layer. Control T, move it over. Move it there. We can get our eraser tool. I'm going to right click, make sure hardness is to 100. And then the size, click on the shape layer. And then you want to make sure your eraser is about the size of two of these dots. So just click. And then I'll just remove the dots from the background. There you go. So you have your dashes, logo, dashes, logo. And that's pretty much it for this. So then you want to disable this background layer. So we've just got a clear background. Now what you've pretty much made the watermarks, so we're going to do is go edit and then define pattern. And just, you know, label this whatever you want. So just watermark, then click OK. So now you, you've made your watermark. It's saved to Photoshop. So you need to go to actual image to put the watermark on. So I've got this document up here with four examples. Now this is the first example, this is one of mine we can see I've made, this is actually, actually a thumbnail that I've put on Selfie and on my video. But as you see here, this image is rotated, it's small, it's you know, low resolution, less than 720p. The text could not be replaced without the background being mucked up. So basically for something like this, don't put a watermark on it. If you can avoid watermarks, I pretty much always do because it just makes your products look so much nicer, so much cleaner. And you know, if it's not necessary, just don't do it. And again, even when this is zoomed in, even when the text is done, for most people, this you know this text wouldn't work, and it would just you know basically muck up the background. So you just really don't need it. And pretty much, if you don't need it, don't use it. Now, something like this, you could maybe use it, but again, bits cut up, bits cut off. You know, low resolution. People probably aren't going to try and steal this. It's something like this that you really do need watermarks on. It's a big, nice, clear image. You know, maybe you've made some stocks or you've made an artwork or something and you really don't want people to steal it. This is the occasions when you do need a watermark. So let's say you've got your image, you want to put a watermark on it. What do you do? So we've got our image, we've got our watermark saved, we need to apply it. So what we're going to do is click a new layer and then just hit control and delete and I'll just make it white and then put your fill down to zero. Double click on that layer, click on pattern overlay and then select your pattern by default, it'll just be this. So you want to select the one we just made, which is this. Then set your, by default, yours will look something like this at about 100. So just lower this down to something like that. So what was it before? I think it was 25. Now, since ours is white, there's something like uh, overlay. It doesn't really work very well. just makes it look uh, pretty ugly. So what we're going to do is just leave it on normal and then lower the opacity a bit. So we'll try, I think it was at 40% earlier. Then scale, you can maybe turn this off a bit. And basically just mix, uh, muck around with this a bit until you get something that you like, something that works well for you. And yes, for it. So you can still clearly see your image, people know what it is, but these watermarks just basically make it totally unusable. Now as you can see here, this uh, line doesn't quite line up. This is because we didn't quite match it up in the corners. 
So if we actually, I've uh, made one of these previously and done a bit of a better, a more careful job, you can see they do line up. And it also works a lot better if you have the lines up the corners rather than ending on the actual solid line. If you can get them to end just like that, where there's a actual an actual gap rather than a line in the corner, it really just helps uh, match them up. So there you go, that's pretty much it guys, that is how to make a watermark overlay in Photoshop. Really simple, really useful, and uh, hopefully this helps you guys. So I am doing this as a bit of a lead up, because one of my next few videos will be how to make your own Selfie store, and then maybe how to make your own portfolio on a website. So I'm just trying to basically show you guys how to make your own stuff rather than just using my templates, you know, make your own store, make your own Selfie store. So if you want to see those kind of videos, please let me know down below and I'll do them in the future. And then this is just a lead up to that. This will help with those videos. So for sure, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully this helped you. Remember if it did, please leave a like or a comment down below. It's always really appreciated. Check out some other Photoshop videos and yes, appreciate it. So see you in the next one. Bye.